In this video, I'm going to unbox and assemble the Tivo Tarantula 3D printer which costs under $200 with shipping included. This item was sent by Gearbest to be reviewed and you can find the link to the product page in the video description. Let's start the unboxing. It comes with a small manual that only has some of the instructions that are required to assemble the 3D printer. However, they do mention a set of videos that takes you step by step on how to build each part of the 3D printer, and these videos are very helpful. You can also find that link below. The 3D printer comes with two small samples of filament. One is ABS, and the other is PLA. You can use them for your first prints, and they are very handy if you forgot to order some filament. The item is very well packaged, and everything is nicely placed. The build process took a little longer than I expected. Probably took more than 20 hours to put everything together, but I've tried to verify if everything was placed correctly before proceeding to the next step. Of course, there were a few setbacks, for example, a motor was placed incorrectly, I forgot to place the 3D printer bed and I had to unscrew some parts. I also made some other mistakes along the way that forced me to remove some parts and start over. As far as the assembly goes, it is finished for now. I can say that all the parts feel sturdy. I recommend using painter's tape so that it's easier to remove the 3D printed items from the bed. For my prints I'll be using PLA filament. My first couple of prints failed because I was still trying to level the bed. After some tests, I finally printed a small cube that turned out quite nice. After that, I've designed an enclosure on a software called SketchUp for a future ESP8266 project. Here's the final result. It should have two holes on the side, one to place an OLED screen and the other for the wires to pass. However, I messed up some of the slicer settings and it used a lot of support material. But still, the print came out right and all the sides are very smooth. The 3D printer wires were still a bit messy at this point but I wanted to make sure that it was printing correctly before I started organizing the wires. After organizing them with cable ties, here's how it looks like. It's still a bit messy, but that's the best I could do at the moment. My final thought. I think that for the price point, it's a great option for someone that wants to get started with 3D printing. So far, I got good results. I'll be posting future projects that will require some sort of 3D printed item and after more prints I'll have a better idea on how good the 3D printer performs in the long run. Thanks for watching.